Hello. In the kitchen today, I have two drawers that are full of utensils, spatulas, whisks, you name it. I have this drawer and I also have another drawer across beside the dishwasher. The one beside the dishwasher that you're looking at, it is things that I rarely use. I, at some point, didn't purge, didn't declutter. I thought I'll keep stuff that I use most days or regularly up here. I'll move the other stuff to another drawer. And that was my system before. My system now is if I don't use it, gone. I rarely use anything that is in that drawer beside the dishwasher. So right now we will empty both drawers, sort, see what we can keep, see what I want to keep. So right now I'm just going to dump everything onto the counter. Let's see what I do want to keep. When I said I was going, not going to keep anything in this drawer, exaggeration, because there is some things that I found I do use that are in this drawer. Not too many, but a few. What I saw online as a space saving hack in your kitchen, because you do have to keep some things, you can't get rid of everything. Take the command hooks and hang them. I wasn't sure if I wanted to hang them up top, but I think I'm going to go down and we'll hang them. I will show you the end product, what goes back in the drawer, and that is going to save me a lot of space. I do think the first thing is purge and declutter, but we have to keep some stuff. So what we're gonna keep, keep nice and organized. You know what you've got. You won't rebuy doubles. You know where everything is. Here is my lower cabinet. I have no idea who invented command hooks, but kudos to you. You are amazing. So these are in my lower cabinet. It's out of the drawer. I can see what I have. Some of them I don't use very often, only when you're baking spatulas, can opener we don't even use often, but you have to have a can opener, like let's be honest, out of the way. Vertical storage instead of horizontal storage. I love it. I am, I'm thrilled. I'm weirdly, this makes me really, really happy. So back up top on the counter here, here is my wonderful command hooks down on there. Now in this drawer, I only have things that didn't have holes in them, which was too bad. But what I use, the clips are all in and this drawer is practically empty and it thrills me. And this is the pile that's going to bless somebody else. I kept one uh, rolling pin. I don't need two rolling pins. I don't need this for making tarts. I just don't bake much anymore because the kids are grown and I'm the only one left to eat it. If I'm gonna have ice cream, we just use a spoon. We don't need a special thing. We never bring it out, so why keep it? Lots of chopsticks, take out chopsticks here that need to go extra peelers need to go. So this whole pile is gone. The straws there that we will keep because I don't know what everybody likes. And that's it. In this other drawer that we keep down here, there is a few things that I did keep. I don't use them very often, but I want to keep them. And that's okay. No guilt no worries. It's my life. It's my journey. 
I'll do me, you do you. Don't let any other minimalists that only have two spoons and two forks and two knives make you feel less than if you want to keep a few things. It is what it is. Everybody's circumstances are different. Everybody's wants and needs are different. I want to keep these fondue forks, which we rarely use, but we do use them once a year, but I'm still gonna keep them. Some baking stuff in here that I don't bake very often, but when I do bake, I like to have the right tools. It helps. So I'm keeping things. I'm having two drawers plus all those command hooks. To some people, that might be excessive. But I'm me. You do you. No guilt. I feel fantastic. It is what it is. What I'm taking a long time to say is just don't feel guilty. It's a journey. It's a journey of a thousand steps and I'm just starting on it. Maybe at another go around, I'll get rid of way more stuff. But right now, I got rid of a lot and I'm thrilled with the progress that I am making. Progress, not perfection. Everybody is different and remember that everybody is different. You do you and be happy with yourself. I'm doing me and I am thrilled with the results.